Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. 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 All right. Six already. And we're going to talk about a hot forecast here mm -hmm. once again before we jump into that. Uh, Lisa, Lydia, Scott here. We make this into a podcast after we're done. So you can find that at inform.com slash podcast. Look for the Inform Minute. Of course, live on Facebook. You can watch it anytime on your Facebook mm -hmm. feed. And we're also on our Inform YouTube channel. So anywhere you get your news, we're going to be there pretty That's much. That's right. All right, Lydia, let's talk about the All forecast right. because it is rinse and repeat yet again. Yep. Hot chance of storm. Same old song and dance, <laughs> copy paste, rinse, repeat, cookie cutter forecast. <laughs> I'm like coming up with more things to call it than I am actually forecasting because it's the same thing every single day. Today uh, we'll go with about 88 for a high, technically not in the 90s, but mm. with the humidity, I mean, it's going to feel like the 90s anyway, so it's still hot. Um, Pop-up showers and thunderstorms possible this afternoon, this evening, I'd say after 3 p.m. We start to watch for those really in the heat of the day. Uh, downpours, maybe some small hail, gusty winds, thunder, lightning, noisy garden variety, summertime yeah. storms. You've seen them the past few days. You'll see them again today. Not everywhere gets rain and right down the road you get a downpour. Jamestown was my example this morning. I had a report on the southwest side of town at 2.18 inches in less than an hour. And then on the east side of town, 15 hundredths. Oh, wow. Jamestown's not that yeah, big no. of a town, you know? like geographically speaking it's not huge so no. you can get a big difference of rain in a really short area um so we'll see those again today again tomorrow tomorrow there are a couple different severe weather parameters lining up we might okay. get some of that one inch hail 60 mile per hour wind gusts we might see a warning or two on okay. a storm for tomorrow um thursday i wouldn't be surprised to see one of these pop up but thursday night into friday Friday is kind of when we're tracking this cold front, and that should eventually bring our changes into the weekend with highs in the 70s for the weekend. Upper 70s, so still nice to be outside and mm -hmm. enjoy the lake or the pool, but not so oppressive and hot and sticky like we've seen lately. So 70s for the weekend, 80s and 90s are back next week. And this seems about right because Rib Fest is starting tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> it's always hot at Rib Fest and yeah. windy. I swear, it's hot and windy, and you're standing out there in the dome parking lot, and then it's like blowing the dirt at you, and you're sweating, and it's sticking all over. But you have delicious ribs. Yeah, so say the ribs are too the good. So you, it's, all yeah, good. You can. it's worth it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is always hot on Rib Fest. Yeah, you can count on that. Yep, I remember a few years ago I got to judge it actually, and that, it was in the triple digits. We were really? in the triple digits on that day. Thank goodness we judged inside in the park. Yeah. Home. Yeah. <laughs> hot oh, so man. no triple digits but plenty of 80s to yeah. near 90 and the humidity warm. makes it feel hotter too so drink your water find the shade all those fun things mm -hmm. all right okay good. thanks Thank guys you, Lydia. cool we're gonna have plenty more on happy harry's rib fest tomorrow on yep. first news i'm working on some stories about that all the events the entertainment that's going on so make sure you join us tomorrow for that information well, let's jump into our breaking news from this morning. Moorhead police are still searching for a driver that led them on a chase and then crashed a minivan into a fence and a garage. Uh, Moorhead police tell us they tried stopping that van initially for no registration. That was right around 10 in the 1200 block of 19th Street. Uh, the car took off. Mm -hmm. They tried to follow it, lost, uh, lost sight of the van. Uh, but shortly after that, an officer noticed damage to a nearby fence. And then when they did a little more investigating, they found the suspect's vehicle in the backyard. Oh. Officers in a canine unit searched the area looking for the driver, but they were unsuccessful. Uh, we did have video this morning, pretty crazy video. Yeah. Um, the crash damaged a fence, a deck, and an attached garage. Luckily, no one was hurt. Uh, police are still working to identify the driver. Uh, we are learning new information this morning about a deadly apartment fire. We now know the deaths of a father and three-year-old girl are being investigated by both the Cass County Coroner's Office and the Ramsey County Medical Examiner's Office. 26-year-old Adrian Zamaran and 3-year-old Serenity Ray Zamaran both died after being pulled from their Fargo apartment on Friday afternoon. They were taken to the hospital. Serenity died that same day. Her father died on Saturday. The fire was just north of Barnes & Noble. Uh, the fire marshal says the fire is still under investigation right now. Uh, while you were sleeping, construction crews were hard at work on the uh, big road construction project on the tri-level between I-94, I-94. We talked about that. Well, we come to work not early, like literally in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. And it was really lit up as yeah. well. Uh, we told you yesterday they were getting prep for the area, putting cones out. It's full steam ahead now. Um, it's kind of hard to break down exactly. There's what, a lot going on yeah, with this project. Say it was supposed to keep three lanes open, but it, you know, you're know you shifted over towards the left right Shoulder now. Shoulder on the and road. And it's, it's, it's a mess. It's going to be a mess. It's going to be frustrating for commuters and drivers yeah. until it's done. Uh, just pay attention to the cones, the signs, be careful because 
a lot of stuff going on there right now. And a lot of construction crew. Yeah. When I, was, there's so many trucks and the lights were flashing and lots of bodies. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a lot going on there. Uh, two other road construction projects in Fargo we want to give you a heads up on. Uh, there's a closure in downtown Fargo on Broadway today between Main Avenue and First Avenue mm -hmm. South. Crews will be removing a tower crane that was being used for the Bell Bank project. Um, and also on 42nd Street South between 44th and 38th Avenue South, uh, one of the northbound lanes will be closed for the installation of a new sewer pipe in that area. Mm -hmm. That project um, is not going to wrap up till mid-August. Yeah. So. Construction season. It's, it's not going to stop till <laughs> it snows. Yeah. All right. Uh, today, Grand Forks City leaders will be busy getting to work on final designs for a project that's been on hold for 32 years. That's building a rail bridge at the intersection of 42nd and Demers. Uh, with that rail yard right there, trains sometimes come to a stop and go back and forth, halting traffic on the busy roads. Um, it is the most complained about rail crossing in the entire state of North Dakota. So it's a good thing they're trying to do something about it. Yesterday, U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg uh, brought a $30 million check for the $60 million project. The state, city, and BNSF will cover the rest of those costs. The plan is to send cars underneath a rail bridge that will be built over 42nd. The goal is to break ground on the project next year and have it done for traffic within three or four years. Uh, this morning, we're working to learn what led to the suspension of Governor Doug Burgum's Twitter account just hours after he released a campaign mm -hmm. video. The video is a preview, of course, ahead of Burgum's big announcement that's happening in Fargo tomorrow. He's expected to join the 2024 presidential race. But right after he posted that video yesterday, Twitter suspended his account for about an hour. Uh, so we're going to do a little more digging on that story mm -hmm. today. But uh, if you want the details for tomorrow, it's going to be happening at the Sanctuary Event Center right around 1130 tomorrow morning. We will be covering it, though, here on WDAY. We'll be breaking into our 11 o'clock newscast. Mm -hmm. You can listen. We're also going to be streaming it live on our inform.com website. Yeah, and talking about the campaign trail heating up, uh, Burgum's just one of several Republicans jumping into the race this week. Those announcements are actually starting today with former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, uh, former Vice President Mike Pence also is gonna be officially joining the presidential race. So all the hoopla begins now. <laughs> uh, this was a big story we talked about on First News this morning as well. Right now, evacuations are underway to get people away from a dam break in Crimea. About 16,000 people were in the path of a, a wall of water. Mm. Um, both Russia and Ukraine are blaming each other for blowing up a hydroelectric dam there. So stay tuned on that, uh, yeah. pointing fingers, but um, causing a lot of problems. Not only you know the safety of people, life, homes, uh, the dam provided water to cool a nuclear power plant. It provided drinking water to people. So crucial, crucial area. Mm -hmm. um, I guess we'll, we'll continue following up on, on whose fault it was and, yeah. and if anyone is hurt. And the impact, for sure. All right, on Hot Mike today with Dom Izzo, UND's best football player in school history, Jim Kleinsaucer, could receive the ultimate honor, the Hall of Fame. Dom will have much more on the Carrington native. Also meet another standout kicker in the Fargo area, uh, North's Max Watson. He's traveling to the country to raise his... Pro traveling across the country, I should say, to raise his profile for Division I schools. Watch all of that on Hot Mike with Dom Izzo today from 9 to 11 this morning on WDIY Extra and Inforum.com. And the perfect place to find everything that we've been talking about during this, uh, Inforum.com. And you can get a great deal right now, 99 cents a month for your first three months and all access pass to Inforum.com, mm -hmm. your local national sports headlines. It's all in one spot and weather too. Yeah, take advantage of it, folks. All right, we got you covered the rest of the day on air as well. Our next newscast at 11 o'clock, then this afternoon, four, five, six, nine, and 10. We'll be back tomorrow morning with plenty of new headlines on first news from five to seven in the morning. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.